Okay, hello everybody, and welcome to Song of the Deep, which is a game that maybe not a lot of people have heard about, and I really know very minimally about, but it was recommended to me by Gipfomouse in the comments, who's been very awesome in the past before with, with awesome game recommendations, and I haven't been able to play many of them, but I'm finally getting around to wanting to play it. I feel like this is a shorter game. I really don't know much about it. It's got an indie game feel, but it's made by Insomniac Games, who make AAA titles. So I'm a little bit like, I don't know what it is about. It might be like a fun side project they did or something. But so far, the music is just phenomenal. I'm like dying. It's beautiful. And I know it's an under- I was looking for underwater games, and this was one that was recommended, and I was like, Yeah, I wanna play this game, because you guys know- Some of you may know I played Abzu on the channel a while back, and I really enjoyed it. And apparently they just got a controller, uh, like, pad- a gamepad. Um, I don't know. A gamepad works in this game. <laughs> I don't know the words. But yeah, the art style also looks really gorgeous when I first saw- Basically, the art style made me go, Yep, and I just bought it, so. So let's get going. Um, gonna do beginner? No, intermediate. We're uh, we're we're true men play on intermediate. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's usually better to play on medium difficulties. But I don't even know what the game does really. I think it's a 2D game, but I could be wrong. But yeah, I thought I anyway. I thought I'd play a smaller game maybe while I'm playing Andromeda. But we'll see if this is a smaller game or not. Okay, so. I said oops a second ago because I forgot to turn on subtitles. So now we'll turn on- I just exited out of the game really fast, so now we have subtitles on. Okay, let's do this. For realsies this time. Because the voice is very quiet. I couldn't hear it very well. Merin loved the sea. She loved the sound of the waves calling to her through her window. Freaking she Irish? She dreamt every night of the mysteries that lay beneath. I'm dying! Her father was a fisherman. Each day he went out to sea, and each night Merrin waited at the rocky This is gonna be a sad story, isn't it? Holding up a candle to guide him safely home. The two of them were poor. Their roof was leaky, and they sometimes went hungry. But as long as they had each other, Merrin knew they would be But okay. Dad doesn't have any fish on his plate. At night, her father sang her songs about his great adventures. He sang of giant leviathan serpents. Ooh, the art style's caves, awesome! The lost city of gold beneath the sea. Merrin knew the stories weren't real, but she loved to listen to them. She drifted off to sleep, imagining the wonders of the world below. I'm in love. And her life continued that way. I knew it! That doesn't go well. Until one night, her father didn't return. Marin held up her candle at the cliff's edge all through the night, staring out at the empty sea. She shivered in the cold wind as she watched for him all the next day. Her eyes welled with tears as night fell again oh and there gosh. was still no sign of her father. At last, she collapsed into sleep. In her dream, <gasps> she saw him, trapped oh, okay. deep beneath the sea, calling to her for help. She awoke with a jolt. Ooh, look at that! The dangerous plan was already forming in her head. She's an engineer. She took scraps of metal and wood her father had caught in his nets and pieced them together. She hammered and bolted. She measured and saw. I like this girl. And before the sun had set, she had built a tiny. Girl, if your roof was leaky and you just submarine. built a submarine. With trembling hands, she squeezed inside and dove down beneath the waves to search for her father. Woohoo! Neat! Tyne Wells will save your progress and restore- Okay, so there's no, like, autosave. Or maybe there is an autosave, but there's no, like, man- There's no manual saves, really. Cuddle pups! <gasps> Cuddle pups! <coughs> if it's 2D, I might switch over to, um, mouse and keyboard. Oh, it's kind of okay. Interesting. Okay, so we have our our limit. It's fast. I like it. The world beneath Ooh. the waves shimmered with mystery. 
glow kelp bulbs lit up around her as she passed by. Wow. Does it matter which way I go? Hold on. I'm not sure with the uh, little electric bolt and. Um... Okay, so I can't get in there. It looks like there's ruins over there. <gasps> oh, the little plus sign and the electric bolt are for. Meat! Little, little, little fish flies, fish fireflies. Can't go down there yet. Ominous. Are those cuddle pups? No, not yet, maybe. <gasps> Seahorses! I love seahorses! They're my favorite! Can I go over here? Can I go up and around? this. Karen spotted some odd looking old coins. Maybe her father would know where they were from. Do you do anything? No? Okay. Coins. Whoa, I got pushed through there. What are you doing? Okay. We're finding treasure. I think this was, uh, it was kind of like, this is some sort of like underwater exploration of like ancient ruins and whatnot. Is it, is it, ow, let me up. No, I want to go up. No. I guess I could see if buttons do anything. No, not yet. I can kind of slow my progress by going backwards. Magnet? Shells? I can move them! Can't go back the way I came. So hopefully my puzzle Moon solution. Light flickered and danced on the sea floor like an underwater fire. Her father once told her about a mysterious oh, a time thing. energy called time. Could that have been a time wellspring? What are the sea urchins for? Break something, sea urchins. Or could I carry you with me up somewhere? Beep, 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 beep. Wait, no. No! Seems like you have to time this. No way. No. Oh, is this like, um... No, not the D-pad, not bumpers. Hmm, okay, so far I only have movement. No! Almost made it! There's just a gold coin up there, I think, but it'd be nice to have it, I think. No, oh, I need some sort of boost to get through. No, no. No! Okay, let me go straight through. No, wait! Okay, no! Did it? We puzzle solved. Except I don't know how to get through anything. Oh, I was like, what? Um, I wonder. No, doesn't do anything. Well, it's not, it's not giving me much. Torpedo. Move, move, map, map, there's maps. 
Shoot, dodge, searchlight. Sonar, claw, throw, boost. So far, none of those things are doing anything. There's a map. Oh, can I go further back? Or maybe I can go further back that way I was exploring. I'm glad our submarine doesn't take damage. Oh, oh. A seahorse made of clockwork gears Whoa. darted out of the way as Marin approached. She wondered who could have built such a curious Whoa. creature. That was legit. Looks like you can go up there. Picked up my first item. Marin approached a glowing scrap of metal and pulled it inside. It was claw shaped and had a strong magnetic pull. She took out her tools and attached it to a firing mechanism on her steering column. Okay, press X. Huh. So it really does just. Did we pull it? Yeah! And then. Or maybe we should push it. No pushing, just pulling. Can we can we keep it up? Nice. Oh. Oh. Wait, I can Oh. I have an object. Marin spotted shock nettles ahead of her. <gasps> she had to be cautious, as the hostile creatures would attack her on sight. Uh, aim? With... Oops. No. And then, what did it say? Throw with... Dang it. Um... Just press it again. Okay, so you hold it, and then... Yes. Whoa, ha ha ha! Take that. Oh no. Yeah, I did it! Where'd the other one go? Not another one. Nope. Come along then, Hatch.
I just... to blow that up. Okay. But it's timed. Yeah. Nice. This girl is the most adorable thing. Hello! The guardian blocked Merrin's path. She knew it all too well from her father's stories. And she knew it must never be woken. So the stories were true. Okay, so don't go over there. What? <gasps> I can carry the glow things. What? Well, what's the map say? It says there's a treasure. Oh, man. Loads of coins. I love the design. It's so cool. Oh, look! Um, if only my tentacles were longer, I could latch onto that. Going really close to him is a bad idea. What about underneath? Yeep! Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Oh, wait. Uh, math. Hmm. So I should be able to somehow go up this way. I can't reach. Unless I'm supposed to blow something up? I don't think I have to blow anything up. That doesn't seem like something... Okay. According to her father, the Guardians had been built by ancient undersea explorers called the Fomori. Marin always thought the Fomori were a myth. Now she wondered if her father's other stories might be true. They told me not to wake him up, man. Are they guarding this wreck? Mm. Undying games. What's this? It wants me to carry the it. The statue reminded her of her father's lullabies about the brave and beautiful Meros. Yeah. 
impossible to chip my way through. I don't think so. Yes, thank you, game. Okay, damages enemies. Pro. This is beautiful. I love it. Oh, hello. Oh, you want me to... Oh, I have to take the head from this one and move it to the other one? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I feel really bad. Whoa! You're a big guy. She sketched the terrain on a sheet of cartography paper. Her father had taught her that those who make maps are never lost. I concur. Oh, she looks so happy. Whoa. What are these like eels? Hello. Hermit crab watched Merrin from a rocky ledge. Oh. On his back, he carried a vast array of odd looking treasures. Hello, tra I can trade with. to like shiny objects. Maybe he would be willing to make a trade. Okay. For upgrades. Alright, so it's not just like, um,. I, is there a I don't I don't see a, a thing that tells me how much my ship is damaged Okay, so I can't afford any of these Okay, so this is what the treasure will be picking up. Oh, I almost have enough for the concussive claw go back to another area and grind actually oh well look there I don't want to go that way the map will always have a marker for my next destination okay so to continue the story I have to go that way but I could go further exploring around here using the materials she bought from the hermit crab Marin took out her tools and made a quick modification to her magnetic claw. Okay. So can I get through these areas now? Maybe. No. Okay, fine. Well, that's alright. I think I'll call this one here, actually. Um, before we start exploring a whole new area. I mean, look at this, we can go down. Ooh, look, money. What's that? <gasps> That's a cool thing. What's that thing? I can't keep... See, this is what happens. I'm just gonna, like, keep finding things that I want to look at. Ooh, it's just money everywhere. <laughs> okay, so more puzzly things going on down here. Alright, yeah, no, I think I'll leave it here for now. I think these ones will probably be 30-minute episodes. This seems like the kind of game where, like, enough happens and stuff, and that, that 30 minutes would be fine. 
Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more or not, I'll still be playing it regardless. But if you want to see more of it, let me know. I'm excited. I, I, I want to play. I want to keep playing Andromeda, but I kind of want to play a few smaller games. Not a few. Maybe like one, maybe two smaller games, and then maybe catch up on some things that I haven't quite finished <laughs> for other series. But just kind of felt like playing something different today. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate it, and I will possibly see you in the next one.